Hi guys, my name is Bubura. I'm the VP for Teddy Bear Hospital this year. Um, I'm so sorry I couldn't deliver this lecture face-to-face -to, -face to you today because I have my own lecture to attend. And for those of you who have actually attended our recruitment day this year or the year before, you may have actually heard some of the things that I will say in this presentation. So please just bear with me. Yep. So, first of all, we are not a hospital for sick teddies. I'm not sure how our name came about initially, but it definitely did confuse a lot of people. So, Teddy Bear Hospital is actually an international student volunteering group. It exists not only in UK medical schools, but also in Ireland, Australia, and some other countries. We aim to help children aged 3 to 7 to overcome their fears and anxieties when they are around hospital environment and healthcare professionals. We also try to promote and educate the children about healthy lifestyle behaviours, such as healthy eating, oral hygiene, and hand hygiene. Also, we would like to provide a good opportunity for the medical and dental students to work with children early in, early, at early stage in their, medic, uh, in their course. Yeah. So, in each academic year, we will run at least 10 clinics, and in each clinic, there will be two sessions back-to-back, -back, with about 30 children in each session. And starting from this year, we are actually running a drop-in session in Royal London Children's Hospital, which we call Teddy Bear Going to Hospital. This further increased the students we would be able to out, uh, we would be able to reach out to. So this year we reach out to about eight hundred children. Yep, and we also have our annual day, annual safety day, which on that day itself we will invite um the primary school to bring their children to our Whitechapel campus and will invite emergency services such as fire brigades, police and ambulance to join us on that day to educate the children about some safety um, um, stuff and also like some other stuff that we do in the our usual clinic. But I must say this year it's a bit different because of the strong like the bad weather so we have to organize our safety day in the school itself. So, during these two weeks of SSC, you will have lectures, which will all be um, um which will all be held today, and you will get to attend at least one pediatric clinics, and attend one play specialist session, and also you will be attending a teddy bear hospital clinic with us this Wednesday, and finally there will be a poster presentation on the last day, which is next Friday. I will tell you a bit more about the poster presentation near nearer to the end of this lecture. Yeah. We had some really good posters actually over the years and we actually use them in clinics and most importantly in safety day. We even bring some of the posters to our Teddy Bear Hospital conference in Sheffield last year. Yep. So these are just written some written aims for the SSC, which you can just read through. Yep. Just a quick note here. Um before you attend the Teddy Bear Hospital Clinic tomorrow, uh, make sure you have signed up to one of these association as this is mainly for your own safety in case anything happens when we are in the primary school. So, how do we run the clinic? We usually run the clinic one class at a time. Each class will have about 25 to 35 students and we will run two classes for each Wednesday session. There will be five stations, which is visit to the doctors, Dentist, surgical bear, emergency station, and healthy eating station. I will quickly run through what we do in each station with you afterwards. Yep. So this is just a instruction, like this is just a like plan, a map to show you like how we set up the stations and we usually go clockwise like from one we will ask the student to uh, the kids to move from one station to another station clockwise on that day itself and they will have about five minutes in each station. So, in the beginning of the station, uh, uh, the session, we will ask the team leader to introduce all the doctors and dentists to the children. And the, the team leader will also try to ask the children some questions to try and hype them up. Yeah. And yeah, as the session goes along, and by the end of each session, like one minute before the end of that session, committee member will go around the stations to give volunteers a signal 
and then the volunteers can give the children their stickers and say that like they did really well in their station and they can move on to the next station. Yep. So the first station that I'm going to talk about is visit to the doctor. Yeah. There will be an instruction guideline to tell you what you can do uh, on this station and you can read this um, before the session starts when we are in the primary school. Yeah. So the Depending on the number of children, each of you may have like one to three children that one to one that you have to like talk to them about. So in this station, you actually work with the kids to find out what's wrong with their teddy and you try to treat them together. So um, you can start by saying hi to the kids, asking for their names and their teddy names. Yep. And we also have a form slips available in this station in which you can use to fill it up by asking um, kids about some questions regarding to their teddies. Yep. And we have some equipments as well such as fact x-ray machine, ophthalmoscope, stethoscopes, um, tendon hammer and stuff like that in which you can use to like diagnose the patient. And finally, you will try to treat the teddy by giving maybe a plaster if they fell down, bandages or even an injection which we sometimes call it a magical juice that will make everything better. <laughs> And then, yep, some of the, I must say some of the kids are very smart as in they know that Teddy is not alive and then like, um, how can you like, they, they won't get sick or something like that. So you just have to make up a scenario for them. Or actually some of them will come up with a scenario themselves. For example, they will say like, oh my Teddy just fell down from the table or something like that. Yeah, you will just treat according to what they say then. Yep. So the next session that I'm going to talk about is visit to the dentist. And again, this station will have about one to three kids per volunteers. And basically, there are two halves to this station, which is which is going through visit to dentists for their teddy and also explaining how to brush their teeth properly with the children. You can start either half and or you can just incorporate two parts of this station together. So in terms of visit to dentist, you can create a scenario why the teddy has to visit the dentist. And you can show them the different dental tools and explain to them what they do. We have limited types of dental tools, but we have picture cards of them. So you can explain to them using that what these kind of dental equipments are. Yep. So you can also ask them some questions such as like, what sound do bees make? And what does hoover sounds like? And you can make the sound for them as well like, ooh, or something, something like that. Yep. Um, yeah, this will like keep them engaged and make it easier for them to recognize the tools afterwards. Yeah. In terms of the other half of the station, which is how to brush teeth, you can use the giant teeth model and the giant toothbrush available in this station. Usually, I'll start out the station by asking them what this is, which is the toothbrush, and like make them answer like toothbrush or something like that. And then you can ask them whether they have it at home or what color is their toothbrush and stuff like that. Then, I'll ask them how many times they brush their teeth every day and reinforce the magical number, which is two. Two times a day for two minutes. Yep. Then, I'll ask them to show me how they brush their teeth and in what shape. The correct, the correct motion will be a circular motion and you can ask them to show you how they do it in the giant teeth model. Yep. Try to let them take turns to use the giant teeth. Sometimes like you have many kids to one giant teeth, you must like organize it well so that everyone gets a chance to use them. So, another exciting station will be our surgical bear station. In this station, you will have Mr. Honey, which is our huge surgical bear with organs in it. The organs are some organs which we saw it, we saw it ourselves like previously. Yeah. You also have some scrubs which you can let the children wear if there isn't many of them and you have enough volunteers to help out in this station. Then, you will try to teach them about what germs are and like to tell them that there will be germs on our hand So and saying that germs are bad, so we have to like wash our hands before we can start to like touch our teddy or like do a surgery on the teddy. You will try to show them the how to brush or uh, wash their hands properly like using soap and the seven steps. Make them do it with you together so that they will remember it better. Yep. And once their hands are clean, you can ask the kids to take turn to pull out the organs and ask them what are the organs and see if whether they know what is it and what the functions are. 
If they cannot answer, then we'll just tell them what the organs are and try to explain to them using a very simple term. For example, heart. You just can say like heart keeps you alive or like um, makes you uh, keep you moving about or like lung help you to breathe and stuff like that. Yeah. So the next station will be the exciting emergency station. Yep. So basically in this station, you will teach them what to do during medical emergency, which means when they see someone collapsing, collapse on the floor or something like that. So the first thing will be calling for help as loud as possible. By this time, you can actually ask them to like shout for help together, like for help or something like that. Yeah. Then you will tell them to call 999. Um, hopefully, usually we will have a phone in this like station, so you can just pretend to ask one of the kids to call 999. Also, teach them not to be panicked and speak slowly, clearly and loudly when they are asking for help. Then, here comes the exciting bit. Um, one of the volunteers can suddenly fan on the floor, on the mat. And the other volunteers have to try and engage the student and ask them to shout for help and call 999. They can each, like, if there are few students in that, if few kids in that station, they can each in charge of something. Yeah. And then you can try to let them use the medical kit on the unconscious volunteer to check their blood pressure, listen to their chest, and yeah, maybe, like, if there's a bleed, they can, like, do a bandage on him or something like that. And finally, they can together wake the patient up by giving the magical solution, which is the little injection. But make the uh, injection, the syringes, using the syringes, but make sure that they don't stab the uh, volunteer too hard because I have volunteers who complain last time as the children actually stab them too hard and it's actually quite painful. Yeah. So, last but not least is our healthy eating station. This is actually a new station that we just started a year ago. And in this station, there will be a huge healthy eating plate banner that we will lay on the mat and we will bring along with us some plastic food. To start off, you will go through the different section of the plate with the kids and tell them roughly how much they should be having for each section. The main emphasis is trying to get five a day of fruits and vegetables. Yep, and also ask them to try to take less sugary food. Yep. Then, if there are a few of you, you can start to spread out to do um, each in charge of a few students or you can do it as a whole group by picking up the plastic food and ask them what it is and which classification it should be in. Yeah, and yeah, you can read a bit more about all the details in the information sheet when you are on the session itself on that day. So, on, yeah, tomorrow, which is, yeah, 9th of May, our clinic will be starting at 1 to, and it will end around 3 or half 3, but we will meet in the BLSA at 12.45. We will meet at the entrance which is facing the old hospital. Yep, then we will together walk to the hospital. Oh, uh, sorry, walk to the school. Just um, try and bring along your oyster card just in case we need to use the bus, but usually we will just walk to the school because it's not too far, it's about... 10-15 minutes walk away yeah and in terms of what to wear you just wear something smart casual and bring along your stethoscope if you have one and also your ID badges as the school have to check your identity sometimes yep um yeah just a note here there is no clinics on next Wednesday which is 16th of May so make sure you try to attend the teddy bear hospital clinic tomorrow which is Wednesday as yeah that will be your only clinic Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to run through a bit about what you do in your poster presentation. Like what um I've mentioned before, it will be on next Friday and then it will be held in room one point two one Garrett building. Yeah. So um essentially this is just a poster related to public health, as we are trying to educate the children how to stay safe and healthy. As what I've told you before, we use this um, poster in our normal clinic as well as safety day. Yep. So you can actually base your poster on whatever theme you want. For example, healthy eating, hand hygiene, oral hygiene, road safety, and etc. You need to do some research on the topic you would like to do and include some statistics into your oral presentation. The mark scheme is included in the handbook that Samantha sent you last Friday. So please make sure that you read 
through it before you start to do your pre um, poster presentation. Yep. And in terms of the poster size, I would re recommend any size between like A2 and A1. And it can be hand drawn or printed. It's really up to you. So, yeah. Last but not least, if you have any problem or unable to attend any of the session, like your pediatric clinics or play specialists or teddy bear hospital clinics, make sure to email Samantha and me um, beforehand, uh, a day beforehand, likely, uh, if you, yeah, a day beforehand would be nice, yep, at least a day beforehand, yep. And also, it's actually very difficult to arrange for you guys to shadow the pediatrician and play specialist session because we also have our fourth year like shadowing the pediatrics as well. So some of you may only have one session. But in Samantha's email last Friday, she mentioned that there will be a few extra clinics available on 16th of May, if I'm not wrong. It's a Tuesday. So please discuss among yourself and decide who will be going. And please email Samantha before 11th of May and cc me into the email to tell us who is going to the, um, the clinic. Okay? Yep, thank you. And yeah, please keep an eye on the Google Calendar as well because Samantha might update the calendar according to the availability of like the clinics. Yeah. And yeah, so with any questions, I will see you guys tomorrow in the clinic around, uh, yeah, we'll meet at the BLSA building at 12.45. So if you have any further question, feel free to bring it over and I will answer all your questions as well. Yep. Thank you.